y'all hear me? Okay, um, part two. Okay, this is part two of week one. Um, sailor to civilian vlog. So I'm just gonna get straight into this video, okay? I'm gonna get straight into it. I didn't wanna put the introduction up here. I don't need it to be all long. I just wanted to come back and um, try to touch up on what I missed. So here we go. Okay, guys, part two. Okay, part two. I wanted to go through my findings packet with you all, but I kept getting cut off in my first video and I, I don't know why, but we're gonna get it together. So as I was telling you guys, I got back, you're gonna get back your Department of Veterans Affairs letter and it's gonna have your findings on it, okay? Um, which I went over that. It's gonna tell you everything that you claimed and it's gonna have how much they gave you for each claim, okay? So for example, I'm gonna share a little personal stuff with you all, but I have some, like I told y'all, you'll see on part one where I went to the doctor for the bilateral foot pain that I was having, I received 30% um, in my evaluation um, for that foot pain. So it breaks down every claim that you have and how much percentage you got for each claim. I think I had a total of 14 claims, so if that helps. Then this is your attorney page, okay, your attorney information that they're going to give you. Make sure you use them. They're free. They are attorneys. Now, let's talk, let's get into the programs. Make sure that once you get your finance package back, um, that you contact, if you, if you, if you qualify for uh, medical retirement, make sure you contact, um, I'm looking everywhere. I'll be looking at everything. I gotta remember my focus is right here. Y'all right here, okay, cool. Okay, make sure you contact TRICARE so that you're able to change over your insurance once you transition out, okay? So I'm gonna do all these things on Monday. I am gonna vlog it, okay? I'm gonna vlog that experience, but they're gonna give you a TRICARE package. Don't forget to do that, okay? Like I said, I'm TDRL, so I'm on a temporary disability retired list. I have to be reevaluated in 12 to 18 months. Um, some other things, your VGLI, Veterans Group Life Insurance. So your SGLI, I think it stops, I want to say, 90 days after you get out. So make sure you set up your life insurance, okay? Still be responsible. The Navy will know longer cover you you can still go through prudential they do have a veterans life insurance plan which is what i am using i'm also getting another uh, life insurance plan outside of prudential but they gave me pretty good coverage you want to do it at least 60 days prior to you getting um you want to do it within the first 60 days of you being out the navy like i said make sure you're doing this stuff while you're active and when you get out your stuff will go ahead and start okay I've already did that, so it's no need. I can't be log, vlog that with you guys, but I've already did it. But the program that I was talking about, VA is very important. And guys, they have a lot of programs for veterans. Don't get out and not know what you're entitled to, okay? So you guys heard me talk about the Vocational Rehabilitation and Employment Program. I'm going to vlog me applying for that. I'm going to vlog that. That'll probably be my next vlog seri series excuse me, me applying for some programs so you guys can see that, okay? I'm gonna actually go through that with y'all on my blog. Also, things that you don't know. You can apply for food stamps, okay? You can apply for assistance when you get out of the Navy. Um, you can apply for unemployment up to 52 weeks once you get out of the service, okay? Um, there is no guarantee that you will get these programs, but I'm just here to tell you what you can apply for. You can apply for food stamps. You can apply for unemployment, okay? You, um, those are, are some entitlements. Everything is really changing in the military now, guys. They do everything electronically. Like now, back in the day, you had to get your DD-214 in your hand. Now they send it to you electronically. So, um, I, d I wanted to get up here and just make sure that I went over and fully explained that VA program to you, okay? If you are have not been deemed medically retired, use the VA, use the VA, that's what they're there for. Um, 
stay tuned okay this series is going to be i don't know how many episodes because i'm just gonna vlog i said i'm gonna give y'all about 12 to 15 episodes i'm gonna try to do once a week because i think um i should probably be getting out around may time frame so i'm gonna try to do every week do a vlog and make sure i put some informative information in here stay tuned um to week two i will be applying for some va programs and i'm gonna take y'all with me i'm gonna give y'all the answer out um thank you so much for tuning into part two i just wanted to finish out the video the right way okay make sure you hit that subscribe button all right subscribe make sure you click on that bell because that way you're in the know every time i upload a video thank you so much for coming on this journey with me i'm very excited about it i am very nervous about it but i'm gonna make sure that i tell you guys everything so that you don't miss out on anything because i'm learning and if i can help somebody else in this process of becoming a civilian again i want to do that let me get back to my baby touch by tie hair co and i'll see y'all next week peace